It's summer, and that means one thing. Baseball is being played around the world. In the early 20th century, amateur and semi-pro baseball exploded in popularity in America, being played on every sandlot, high school baseball field, and company-owned baseball diamond in every town and village in the country. American League Baseball and Little League Baseball, organized respectively in 1925 and 1938, became very popular after World War II, and amateur baseball leagues formed throughout the country. Some of the best teams, players, coaches, and managers came from these leagues, and some of them came right from Maryland. One such coach and manager was Sterling Sheriff Faubel and his wife, Miss Virginia. They amassed an incredible record of 1,627 wins to 321 losses over a 48-year period, and they never had a losing season. Their incredible teams won 77 league championships, 24 Baltimore City championships, four state titles, three regional titles, and three national titles. Their 1957 team and 1965 teams were undefeated, and they had an 84-game winning streak over three seasons. They put together some of the best players locally, and players such as Hall of Famer Al Kaline, Ron Sabota, Denny Nagel, all made the majors. For more than 50 years, Walter Yaus led one of the most successful amateur baseball clubs for players under the age of 20. Yaus's Leone's baseball team won an amazing 20 All-American Amateur Baseball Association national titles with a 232-82 to win-loss record during that play. More than 40 of his players have gone to play in the majors, including Al Kaline, Reggie Jackson, Tom Phoebus, and Dave Boswell. His 1967 team is considered one of the best of all time. Of the 18 players on that team, 15 signed professional contracts. After his passing in 2002, the team was renamed to Yaus's Maryland Orioles. They appeared nine more times in the AAA-BA national title game between 2003 and 2013. Lesser known, but equally inspiring, is Aunt Mary Dobkin. She instilled a love and passion for baseball to all the students and kids that came along her way. She worked with more than 10,000 students locally. A Russian immigrant who was confined to the wheelchair, she was the first woman to coach a Little League team in Baltimore, the first to have an integrated team in Baltimore, and the first to have a girl play on an all-boys team. In 1979, CBS aired a made-for-TV movie about her life, starring All in the Family's Gene Stapleton. That same year, she was honored with throwing out the first pitch of Game 6 of the World Series. How about that? <laughs>